Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbul Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace His Royal Highness Prime Minister bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister's granddaughter Sheikh Aisha bin Rashid Al Khalifa on the occasion of her graduation from the British Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. His Majesty King congratulated Sheikh Aisha for her graduation and achieving honorable results in hailing her efforts during her studies. His Majesty expressed pride in Sheikh Aisha being the first Bahraini woman to graduate from the academy wishing her further success his majesty noted the keenness of the people of the kingdom on receiving academic and military education to serve their country and community hailing the academy and its programs in various military sciences and praising the cooperation between the Bahrain and the United Kingdom in various fields his majesty presented Sheikh Aisha with the medal of first-class efficiency appreciating her efforts Efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the high gesture of His Majesty in honoring Sheikh Aisha with the medal, expressing thanks and gratitude for His Majesty's support to the Kingdom's youth and affirming that the medal is an honorable royal recognition to Sheikh Aisha's efforts. Sheikh Aisha expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his support and encouragement to the people of the Kingdom, wishing him abundant health. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace King Juan Carlos of Spain, currently on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty the King reviewed with the Spanish King bilateral cooperation ties and hailed the continuing development these relations are witnessing due to mutual keenness to strengthen them in all fields. His Majesty expressed his appreciation to the efforts exerted by King Carlos and his role on boosting Bahraini Spanish relations. His Majesty he affirmed Bahrain's keen interest to further advance its outstanding relations with the Kingdom of Spain in ways that would serve both nations. His Majesty, the Chairman of the current session of the Gulf Cooperation Council Country Supreme Council, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, received today the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work in Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the GCC Country's Youth and Sports Ministers to greet him on the occasion of holding their 31st meeting in the Kingdom, where they conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of their country's leaders and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to the people of Bahrain. His Majesty asked them to convey his greetings to their Highnesses and his wishes of progress and prosperity to the people of their countries. The meeting began with a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran.
The meeting began with a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. After verses from the Holy Quran, His Majesty delivered a speech. Sayyidi Hadrat Sahib al Jalala, Al Malik Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, Malika Mamlakat al Bahrain al Mufadda, Hafidakum Allah, Warahakum, Ashab al Sumu, Ashab al Maali wa Sahada, Adiyuf al Kiram, Assalamu alaikum, Warahmatullahi ta'ala, Wabarakatu. Yasuruna and Nurahiba Bikum, Fi Hafli Takrim al Qiyadat al Ulya, الذين تولوا مناصب قيادية عالية في قطاع الشباب والرياضة بدول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية وتكريم الشباب المبدع والمتميز وخير ما نبدأ به تلاوة عطرة من القرآن الكريم يتلوها على مسامعنا القارئ علي صلاح عمر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله يدخل الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار إن الله يفعل ما يريد من كان يظن أن لن ينصره الله في الدنيا والآخرة فليمدد بسبب فليمدد بسبب إلى السماء ثم ليقطع فلينظر ثم ليقطع فلينظر هل يذهبن كيده ما يغيظ وكذلك أنزلناه آيات بينات وكذلك أنزلناه آيات بينات وأن الله يهدي من يريد صدق الله العظيم After verses of the Holy Quran were recited, then His Majesty delivered the following speech. يتفضل سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك مملكة البحرين المفدى يرعاه الله بإلقاء كلمة بهذه المناسبة. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إنه لمن دواعي سرورنا الالتقاء بكم مجددا في بلدكم مملكة البحرين بعد مرور أربع سنوات على إطلاقنا لأول تكريم للقيادات الذين تولوا مناصب قيادية في مجال العمل الشبابي والرياضي وكان لهم دورا جليا في النهوض والارتقاء في هذين المجالين في دول مجلس التعاون الخليجي وتكريما أيضا للشباب الخليجي المبدع والمتميز الذي له إسهامات وأدوار بارزة في تطوير وخدمة المجتمع وأننا نتطلع من شبابنا أن يكون لهم دورا وإسهامات عالمية لتحقيق السلام والتعايش والتنمية المستدامة وقد أطلقنا هذا العام جائزة الملك حمد 
لتمكين الشباب لتحقيق أهداف التنمية المستدامة داعين من خلالها المؤسسات والمنظمات والقطاعات الحكومية والأهلية والخاصة والأفراد ليكون لهم دورا في تمكين الشباب لتحقيق هذه الأهداف والتي تسعى لتحسين الصحة والتعليم وتحقيق النمو الاقتصادي وتوفير طاقة نظيفة ومعالجة تغيير المناخ وغيرها من الأهداف التي ستساهم في تنمية دول العالم بشكل مستدام أكرر ترحيبي بكم متمنيا لكم طيب الإقامة كما أتمنى لاجتماعكم كل التوفيق والسداد متطلعين منكم كوزراء للشباب والرياضة الوصول إلى قرارات تنفيذية تحقق تطلعات أصحاب الجلالة والسمو قادة دول مجلس التعاون وتساهم في تمكين الشباب وإشراكهم في بناء حاضرهم ومستقبلهم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then Dr. Omar bin Saeed Al Abri from the Sultanate of Oman delivered the honored youth speech in which he expressed the Gulf youth's thanks and appreciation for the support of His Majesty and Their Highnesses, the leaders of GCC countries, for their directives of providing them opportunities to prove their abilities and contribute to future planning. He stated that the directives of Their Highnesses stressed the importance of supporting the role of the youth and activating programs activities and events that contribute to solidifying interdependence and comprehension. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for honoring Gulf leaders, wishing His Majesty abundant health. His Majesty then presented the high leaders working in the fields of youth and sports with the GCC Excellence Scarf. He also presented the GCC Creative Youth with the GCC Medal. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented His Majesty with a gift on the occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ladies بمنح الشباب الخليجي الفرصة الكاملة ليثبتوا قدراتهم الكبيرة لبناء أوطانهم والمساهمة الحقيقية في التخطيط لمستقبلهم حضرة صاحب الجلالة لقد تابع شباب الخليج العربي بكل اهتمام قرارات جلالتكم وأخوانكم أصحاب الجلالة والسمو قادة دول المجلس في قمتكم الأخيرة التي عقلت في مملكة البحرين وما جاء في إعلان الصخير والذي مثل نبراسا يضيء للجميع دروب دعم الشباب والارتقاء بهم والذي شدد على أهمية دعم وتطوير دور الشباب في تفعيل البرامج والأنشطة والفعاليات التي تسهم في تعميق الترابط والتكامل وترسخ الهوية الخليجية وتعزز قيم التسامح والاعتدال والتعايش القائمة في دول مجلس التعاون وتحقق طموحات الشباب لمستقبل أفضل حضرة صاحب الجلالة ختاما نتقدم لجلالتكم خالص الشكر والتقدير على تكريمكم على تكريم جلالتكم للقيادات الخليجية التي كان لها دور في إدارة دفة العمل الشبابي في خليجنا العربي وتكريمكم للشباب المبدع والمتميز الذي قدم وما زال يقدم الكثير من الإنجازات والمبادرات فكل الشكر والثناء لجلالتكم وأخوانكم أصحاب الجلالة والسمو قادة دول مجلس التعاون على دعمكم للشباب أدام الله على جلالتكم وفور الصحة والعافية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty then presented the high leaders working in the fields of youth and sports with the GCC Excellence Scarf. He also presented the GCC Creative Youth with the GCC Medal. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented His Majesty with a gift on the occasion. His Majesty the King والرياضة ومنح ميداليات مجلس التعاون للشباب المبدعين والمتميزين في دول مجلس التعاون الخليجي أولا القيادات العليا من قطاع الشباب والرياضة بدول المجلس معالي الشيخ سلمان بن إبراهيم بن حمد آل خليفة مملكة البحرين معالي السيد عبد الرحمن العويس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة معالي الشيخ سلمان صباح سالم الحمود الصباح من دولة الكويت معالي السيد أحمد الطاير من دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة بالنيابة سعادة السيد إبراهيم عبد الملك محمد سعادة السيد سعد بن محمد الرميحي دولة قطر سعادة الشيخة الزين صباح الناصر السعود الصباح دولة الكويت سعادة السيد محمد بن صالح القرناس المملكة العربية السعودية سعادة المهندس خلفان بن صالح بن محمد الناعبي سلطنة عمان سعادة السيد محمد فرج قاسم الخنجي دولة قطر ثانيا الشباب المبدع والمتميز الذي له إسهامات وأدوار بارزة في تطوير وخدمة المجتمع بدول المجلس دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة خلود عبد الباسط الحمادي عبد الله علي الخميري مملكة البحرين الشيخة هل بنت علي الخليفة عمر فاروق العوضي المملكة العربية السعودية راكان سهيل الشمري حسن أحمد الصرخي سلطنة عمان سالم بن أحمد الحبسي الدكتور عمر بن سعيد العبري His Majesty the King and Chairman of the current session of the Gulf Cooperation Council Country Supreme Council, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, received today at Sakhir Palace the GCC Secretary General Abdul Latif Rashid Zayani, where he briefed His Majesty on the joint Gulf work during His Majesty's presidency of session until the preparations to the consultation meeting with their Highnesses, the GCC leaders. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the Secretary General and all members of the general municipality for their efforts in achieving all goals and aspirations for further development of the GCC countries. 
His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dalbiya Palace a number of royal family members, ministers and officials. His Royal Highness exchanged talks with the guests relating to domestic issues and in this regard he recalled the role of pioneering Bahrainis who have sacrificed for their country. He emphasized on preserving the Bahraini historical heritage to protect the national identity and present the genuinity of its people, underlining the necessity of future generations to be fam familiar with this legacy. His Royal Highness then discussed current Arab regional and international topics where he affirmed the importance of Arab interdependence and cooperation and called to take lessons from the events that have affected Arab countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of senior Indian businessmen headed by the Managing Director of Rossi Blue India, Russell Mehta. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted commercial Bahraini-Indian relations and the role of India in bringing the two countries together, welcoming the Kingdom's hosting of events that develop ties in businesses, inter interdependences, and provide the private sector with opportunities to contribute to it. He hailed their role in enhancing bilateral ties, noting that the kingdom has the potential to become a trading center and host for commercial, economic and social events. For his part, Russell Meta commended the facilities the kingdom provides to businessmen and the role of government bodies in providing facilitations for traders, visitors and investors, praising the modernity of Bahrain, which reflects the success and hard work of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delivered a lecture in Rafah Views International School in the presence of the students, parents, members of Teachers Authority and a number of officials from the school, in which he talked about the importance of citizenship and the rights of duties of individuals using his educational and professional experience as examples. His Highness affirmed that the kingdom is in the age of openness and democracy, whose foundation was laid by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness stated that citizenship has many branches and facets, and citizens have various duties and responsibilities that indicate their national loyalty. He emphasized that the kingdom has always been a country of tolerance, coexistence, and brotherhood, demonstrated by the four foreigners who come to Bahrain for work. He discussed the various forms of citizenship and serving the country, reviewing his experience as a student anticipating graduation. His Highness elaborated by saying that he had chosen the military field after graduation, inspired by His Majesty the King, noting that he was able to express his citizenship through his military duties and the other sectors under his responsibility. He hailed the Sheikh Aisha bin Rashid Al Khalifa as graduation from the British Royal Military Academy, Saunders as the first Bahraini woman graduate, expressing pride in the kingdoms providing men and women with opportunities in the military service field. His Highness urged the students to devote their abilities and knowledge to serving the country and its development and prosperity. His Highness was presented with a commemorative gift from the school's president of Board of Trustees, Zahad of Abdul Malik, who expressed the school's Board of 
trustees thanks and appreciation for him for meeting these students and giving them advice. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, opened yesterday in the presence of ministers and prominent figures the 9th International Youth Conference Give Back, which focuses on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. More in this report with Heb Abdel Ghaffar. Youth are the backbone of any nation's development and play a crucial role in shaping its future. Bahrain believes in the potentials of its youth and their power to change the world. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa said the conference is part of the Youth and Sport Affairs Ministry to tap on the youngsters' potentials and encourage them to enroll diligently in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals so as to cater to present and future needs. Elite inspirational speakers from all over the world where they are encouraging youth to struggle for a better future. My speech was about uh, hope and determination and um, how with our minds, um, if we're harnessed with the right power, and education, then we can autonomously transcend and uh, achieve anything that was possible. Now I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I came to Bahrain because I think this conference is very important for bringing youth together to solve the challenges of the future. The conference was a great opportunity to motivate Bahraini youth to develop their capabilities and exchange experiences. This is a very good initiative from Bahrain, and the, the workshops that have been they provided for us are. Um, are very beneficial. People have learned a lot in, and um, I think this is a very good step for them to be um, achieving their 2030 uh, vision as well. It plays a vital role in contributing to the global t uh, efforts and bringing about um, this sort of cause across the world. Energetic and determined youngsters of different cultures yet common goals where they are believing in sustainability and humanitarian values. I'm from Russian Federation. Today, with my me, uh, with my delegation, we uh, we present our project in medicine in the infrastructure. Uh, I very joy to be here, to be in Bahrain, uh, and uh, I hope I uh, can come back uh, here soon. I'm a research scholar and working in agriculture economics. Uh, actually, agriculture is directly related to sustainable development. I've made a really long way from Russia to be here today as I'm excited about the SDGs. And I think that all of us from different nations, from different cultures can really combine our efforts to make a, play, a world a better place for living. Not only when it comes to the UN goals, but everything, combining our culture, our strength, our youth to make a world a better place for living. A hall full of energy, art and dreams can only leave you hopeful. The Ministry of Youth and Sport Affairs believes in the power of investing in our youth. The 9th International Youth Conference is hosted here today to pave their way to attain the goals of sustainability and overcome all challenges. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken pioneering steps to promote and encourage differently abled individuals towards creativity and active participation in all fields, which goes in line with the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support this group of people and integrate them into the overall development process 
rest of the country. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that new initiatives are being launched for the year 2017 that aim to continue the efforts of implementing the wise leadership directives to embrace youth and disab with disabilities and provide them with all means of support. He added that it represents an opportunity to showcase their creativities and capabilities in various fields in addition to raising their skills for a developed society. He continued to state that these Bahraini youth have proven to the community that they are able to be an active element that achieves the objectives of the development process and participates in building the kingdom. His Highness praised the Federation's efforts under the presidency of the President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabled, Sheikh Mohammed bin Naij Al Khalifa, which contributed in creating the appropriate atmosphere for athletes with disabilities to participate uh, to practice the Federation's various sports. His Highness said that the Federation was able to develop to higher levels and create national teams capable of representing the kingdom with honor, noting that uh, sports people with disabilities were able to accomplish many achievements that are added to the Bahraini sports record. In this regard, he recalled gold medal winner Fatma Abdel Razak in the Paralympics Games hosted in Rio de Janeiro during the summer of last year. His Highness Sheikh Khalid wished every success for the Federation in implementing its action plan that is aimed to promote this sport. The GCC Youth and Sports Ministers today held their 31st ministerial session hosted in Manama. The ministers hailed the kind gesture of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for allocating the King Hamad Award for empowering youth to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Ministers of Youth and Sports in the Gulf Corporation Council countries expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Founder and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, following the Kingdom of Bahrain's hosting the 31st session of the GCC Youth and Sports Ministers, lauding the Kingdom's generous hospitality and distinctive organizing of the meeting. The ministers also expressed their their gratitude and appreciation to the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs for the good preparations and organizing of the meeting. The GCC Youth and Sports Ministers lauded the Kingdom of Bahrain's initiatives aimed to achieve the SDGs as well as successful organizing of the 9th International Youth Conference attended by a thousand young men and women hailing from various countries around the world. As part of its plan to test its readiness of various uh, catastrophes and to update and develop the National Plan for Disaster Reduction, an exercise was performed under the slogan Bahrain My Homeland 2017, which included a simulation scenario of the fall of a passenger plane on a populated area. The Ministry of Interior participated in the simulation along with Bahrain Defense Force, National Guard, Ministers of Health, Works, Municipalities, Transport and Education, higher Council for Environment, National Center for Disaster Response, and the Electricity and Water Authority. Public Security Chief Major General Tarak Al Hassan expressed his appreciation of the high level of competency, affirming the success of this simulation that have achieved its desired goals. The joint drill comes as an implementation of the directors of the Civil Defense Council to hold these important simulations and affirm the readiness and capability to coordinate amongst different sectors in any disaster.
Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 4,200 housing units have been distributed in various kingdoms' governorates. The Ministry of Housing completed the distribution process of a Lozi housing project after receiving the last batch of its beneficiaries. Assistant Under Secretary of Policies and Housing Services, Dr. Khalid Al Haydan, noted that following this project distribution completion, the distribution process shall continue. Dr. Al Haydan also noted that the employees is concerned with the completion of contractual procedures in the housing services management have made a visual presentation that included highlights of legal and technical guidance guidelines that specify the legal and financial provisions of the contract. He affirmed the ministry's keenness to continue developing the most appropriate solutions and mechanisms to ensure the provision of housing services that meet the increasing demand for housing in an integrated environment.